Welcome to Salzburg, number one city to visit in 2020 according to Lonely Planet's Best in Travel Guide. It's the fourth largest city of Austria, it's the birthplace of composer Mozart and a very beautiful city surrounded by snowy mountains. This is the love lock footbridge. It is called Makart stick. People put locks here as a symbol of their love or remembering their loved ones. And that by the way is the Holy Trinity Church. And this over there is the house where Mozart used to live from age 17 to 25. Such a prime location. It <laughs> he is. He literally totally. had a view of this thing. <laughs> he wasn't born in this one, but he lived here with his family. Yeah. Ah, opens on 16 December. Can't go in there today. But there's a museum inside. These are the Mirabel Palace Gardens. If you might remember the old classical movie, The Sound of Music, it was shot here. Many scenes from the movie were shot here. Do you yeah, remember? The one where they sing Do, Re, Mi, Fa. Yeah, exactly yeah. that one. Mirabel literally means a uh, beautiful view. So these palace gardens have a very beautiful view to the castle there. The castle of Salzburg. And these horses have beards. That's so funny. The unicorns. <laughs> In fact, these are the stairs where the movie scene was exactly short. came through the Mirabel Palace and this here is the St. Sebastian Church. This is one of the viewpoints when we go up the stairs to the monastery. So here we are at the Kapuziner Monastery. It's one of the highest points in the city because of this hill. It was a very short hike up there. And for fortunately, this is one thing that's open. So let's have a look from inside how it looks like. One of the special things about Salzburg is that it's surrounded by mountains on all sides. That's why we can enjoy snowy mountain views from many different points in the city. There are in total three viewpoints from this monastery. One of them is this, the other two offer the view of the castle. So let's go there. Look, we can see the log bridge from here. Oh yeah and the Holy Trinity Church. And this is the second viewpoint. You see the fortress, the castle up high. This looks even better than the other one. There we go. There we have the Mozart Platz. Everything in this city is Mozart this, Mozart that. <laughs> yeah. And right here we have the dome and the Hohenzollernburg Castle. This right here is a very interesting spot in the city because standing here you can see almost every major tourist attraction. Here's the Mozart statue, Mozart Platz. Behind, you can see the monastery where we were just at. From there, we could see a view of the fortress, Hohen Salzburg, the castle here, and the dome right next to it. And you know an interesting fact about the dome? Yeah. Guess who was baptized here? 
Um, let me guess, Mozart, perhaps? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, because everything is about Mozart yeah. here. take up to the fort true look at that guy over there <laughs> i wonder who is he Let's maybe, find out. maybe the son of mozart <laughs> so the locals here often call this sculpture man of mozart kugel so man something mozart related. man on top of mozart kugel mozart <laughs> kugel is a famous local treat here it's um it's a small little ball similar to this gigantic ball. Let's play some chess now. Oh yeah. <laughs> this here is the oldest bakery of Salzburg. Right here. This building is so gigantic that these cars literally look like toy cars. The train to go up to the castle is closed, so we'll have to walk all the way up there. That wall is super high. Impossible to climb up. Yeah. <laughs> That's why all the enemies who came to attack this castle, no chance. It hardly takes any time to climb up there. It was just a small 15 minute walk to get up here. So even if you do have the opportunity to use the train, no need to use it. So this is the inside of the castle area. Normally in tourist season, this whole area is very full, full of people everywhere. And right now it's completely empty. Now look at that small window over there. Must give an epic view of the city. Oh, wow. Does it? Yeah. Oh wow. It really does. I think up here you have one of the best views over the whole city. Yeah. Some very interesting facts about the castle here. In the Middle Ages, it was only this much. Over time, it was reinforced. More stuff was built around it. Till 1648, it exists like it exists today. And all of this is at a height of approximately 550 meters. So this is the view you get from the other side. Definitely. Also very pretty. Yeah, on the on the other side was the city and here it's the small part of the city but mostly the mountains and that mountain that you see there is the Unterbergs mountain you can also take a cable car to go up the very summit of the mountain so this whole mountain range also signifies the border between Austria and Germany behind them is Germany and here is Austria now this is the other side which shows the view of the city <laughs> I remember when we came here before, it was so full that we had to find a place to sit on this wall. So you can understand why this is the most popular tourist attraction in Salzburg, because it offers such an amazing view of the whole city here. 
we see the dome we see the mozart bridge we see all the small churches here basically the whole salzburg is here right in front of us is that a mozart statue not a statue yeah like a mannequin yeah a mannequin <laughs> And a Mozart puppet and a Mozart duck. <laughs> and here we are at Getreidegasse. It's actually the main shopping street of Salzburg and it has a lot of high end shops like jewelry shops or expensive handbags. This is finally his birthplace. He was born here in 1756. Let's see how his house looks like. Um, it, it's closed also actually. <laughs> Buses here are almost like trams. Although there are no tracks laid out, they're connected to the wires on the top. So they're electrical buses and they're very, very long. Must be a hard time turning them, right? Right now it feels like it's night, but it's only 4 p.m. This is it, this is our bus. 